<laughs> Hello everyone. That is me jamming out to my current favorite song, Kelly Clarkson's Meaning of Life. You gotta get it because it is so good. I am such a blad, blad. I am such a bad vlogger today. It is 11.55 and I'm just picking up my vlogging camera, but I'll tell you a little bit what's happening today. I went to a 7 a.m. workout. It was awesome. Grab Steven and I some breakfast from my favorite place called Village Bakery, and I just finished filming, uploading, and sending live a four-month review of Care of Vitamins. I've been working with them for four months. I absolutely love them. Um, I love their product. I love what it has done for me, and I just finished filming right there. You can see that is what the house of most YouTubers looks like. You always have lights up. And I feel like a newscaster right now because I'm dressed up from the waist up. But from the waist down, I'm wearing sweats and my running sock. And while I'm filming, Steven is always taking Bubba's for a walk so that I can film quietly. He's also sending me pictures from West Elm because we currently are in desperate need of new bedding in our master bedroom. Uh, ours is actually like starting to tear. It looks terrible. Um, we gotta get new bedding. I'm in love with this set from Pottery Barn. Um, when I hop on my laptop, I'll show you guys it. I'm in love with it. Uh, I just have to convince Steven that that's the one because the ones he sent from West Elm, I'm not in love with. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna start cleaning this up and then I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Oh my goodness, friends. So uh, Steven and I are still like thinking about um, bedding. So I'm gonna show you the one that I'm kind of obsessed with at Pottery Barn. So Steven and I are going to go to dinner tonight and then we are going to head to Pottery Barn to see if we can locate this one. For those who don't know, Pottery Barn has this awesome collection by Emily and Merritt. I don't know much about them, but what's really cool is um, Pottery Barn can typically be like super traditional um, in a lot of ways, but Emily and Merritt have brought like this really cool streamlined modern kind of style to Pottery Barn and um, I'm just really enjoying so many of the pieces. So this is the bedding that I'm thinking about. So it is like a really dark gray. The screen makes it look like a little bit weird, but let me go ahead and see if I can grab the other pictures of it. So it looks like this and I really, really like it. And then the whole duvet looks like this with the stars. There's just something about it that I really enjoy. I really like how much flexibility you have to like do different things with the pillows. So I don't know if they'll have it in store, but we're gonna go check it out later. My lighting got really weird all of a sudden, so I apologize for that. But um, yeah, check out Emily and Merritt. Um, their line at Pottery Barn is really awesome. And then for those who have been following me on Instagram, you also know that I switched in just for a little change for fall into my black patent leather Filofax and I added the little Dymo label. I'm obsessed with my Dymo label. It reminds me of my grandmother. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a quick walkthrough because I just did some planning with it. So let me go ahead and flip the camera so that you guys can see it better. I'm going to walk you through like how I set up next week. And then I won't do that full plan with me video. I'll kind of walk you through right now. I will tell you though that the stickers I used in my decorating were these from Create 365, the Happy Planner. Um, got them at Michael's for a really good deal. I'll leave it linked down below if I can find it, but it's a great collection of stickers for those who like to add just quotes. Let me get this camera reversed and set up so that you guys can actually see the planner walk through a little easier. This is how I set up my planner. It's super minimal with just a little bit of washi tape and a few stickers, but that's really what I wanted. I was really craving some simplicity. A lot of you have asked me um, when I posted this on Instagram, uh, this is my dashboard and it is something from the Get to Work book and it is like this life manifesto. Um, clearly I won't read it all, but I will leave it linked down below. It's really, really interesting. And I really like having it as my dashboard on my planner. All right, let me zoom back out. So I just taped that up and I added like this little manifesto piece. Here's just a fly leaf from Filofax. These dividers I'll also leave linked I'm not thrilled about the quality because they're flimsy cardboard and I didn't feel like laminating them, but they are from paper, cloth and paper company. And so are my inserts, they're from cloth and paper. So this is the front of the planner page. It says capsule 2017. And then what's really great, I put a blank one in front because I have a lot of like travel details, flights and numbers because I'm traveling a lot this week. Um, 
but the, you get like this weekly capsule page where you can just number your dates out and write like the most important things for that week before you get into all your daily pages. I really like that aspect. These are my daily pages. I kept them really, really simple. And what I love is there's a place for like a mantra. So I go through and pull quotes for the week. And then there's a place for your time schedule from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., your to-do list, a memorandum, and then victories and gratitude. Um, so I kind of like that layout. And I just added the washi tape in different spots each day. So every day it's just a little different. And I found like stickers in the gold, green, and black color family to add just a little bit to the planner, but this is really it. Now, as the week goes, I'll fill this up. I don't fill out my to-do list until I go into my office on Monday morning. So that is when my to-do list really fill up. And what I have been doing lately that I love is when I do my planning on Sunday, I write in one colored pen. And then Monday morning, when I first do my weekly to-do list, I write all in the same color. So that will all be in black. Then throughout the week, I choose a different color to write in. So I can go back and see what additional tasks were not part of my original planning so that I can always think about like, is that something I need to add because it keeps showing up every week? That's just how I do it. So my original plan for the week is done in one color. And then as I add things, I do it in a different color for that week. So this week I'll probably do it all in green, all the additional tasks. So it kind of matches. Then you just have another weekly capsule. Then there's a memo section where I just have notes for meetings. I put a blank page on cut front because I have people's names and last names and information. And then there's a goal section where I just put in some loose leaf paper that I had. There's a finance section. I actually found these um, on Etsy. I'll think if I can find it, but it's a, a monthly bill tracker. So I have that. And then in my ideas, just once again, blank paper. I'm planning on putting my YouTube stuff in here. And then miscellaneous is this really great, and I've showed these before, the clean it up dailies, like the cleaning zones versus what you're cleaning daily, what you're cleaning weekly. I really like these. Um, so I went ahead and put those in. And then in the back, I just have a top load envelope from Filofax, but I put nothing in the back. I really don't know what to do with these sections here. If you have some recommendations, I would love to hear it. Like what goes in these little slots? Are these for like business cards? I don't know. I see people who decorate these and they look really nice. I just don't know. So that's really how simple I've been keeping this Filofax and I really like it. It's super simple, super clean, and the patent on it and the leather quality is just so high. I do like it. I will say the patent does show fingerprints, which is slightly annoying, but I mean, it's still beautiful. So that is a quick walkthrough of my planner. I'm really liking it. And yeah, I just like keeping it simple. It doesn't take me forever to like think through my plans. Um, I actually, oddly enough, am still using the Start Planner as well just because I love it with all my heart. It's the best planner I still have ever found. Um, and that has really uh, been more of like my life planner. Um, keeping like a lot of my goals and my tracking of stuff like that in there. So yeah, that's what I'm using right now. It's just a easier to, um, I would say the Filofax is like a little bit easier to carry around with me, like for meetings and stuff at work. Um, so the Filofax is definitely more like my work planner. Um, so yeah, it's what's working for me, but I still love the start planner with all my heart. So Steven and I are about to head to dinner. Um, we're trying a new restaurant tonight, and then we're gonna head off to Pottery Barn. Um, I'm wearing just a black tee, this gray long line sweater cardigan that has like this zipper detail, some cuff jeans, and some quilted shoes. Um, all part of my capsule wardrobe, which is going really well. I love not having a ton of clothes to choose from. It makes it super simple, and I've really been loving it. I thought I'd kind of panic about it, but actually, it's been great. So, yep, that's the outfit for tonight. So, Steven's finishing getting ready and then we're gonna head out to dinner and then off to Pottery Barn. I also just added this black Mala prayer necklace. Um, if you're not familiar with Mala prayer necklaces, I'm gonna leave them linked down below because I love them and I have it in black and gray and I just love it because you don't really see it, um, but it still adds some detail to the outfit. But yeah, I'll leave them linked down below.
So Stephen and I just got back from dinner. Um, I've already put on my comfortable clothes and we were going to go to Pottery Barn, but we were at dinner for two and a half hours. Um, we had like such a great time just talking and had a really, really great meal. Um, Bubba's is over there. Bubby, what you doing? <gasps> we're home, we're home. What you doing? Upstairs? Daddy upstairs? Go find him. Um, so we had a really great meal and we were going to go to Pottery Barn but we thought like by the time we get there um, it would already be so late and we didn't want to be rushed. So we are going to get the Emily and Merritt comforter bed set that I really like that I showed you guys online. Um, I think Stephen said we're just going to order it here tonight. And we're going to hunker down and watch some TV and maybe a movie. I don't know what we'll watch though. But um, I'm going to pick up this vlog tomorrow. I think we're going to go for a workout, go for a hike, probably do a little shopping. I don't know. But um, I'm going to sign off for tonight, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are Before I'm too invested I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions Get to know you better Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you lock me down? I know I'm feeling something for ya from the gym. I am a sweaty mess and <clears throat> I am thinking of doing some redecorating in my bedroom. Well, really not like redecorating, redecorating, but I'm thinking about moving some things around because I just want to change. And we just ordered that new bedding from Pottery Barn last night. I'm really excited about it. So let me tell you what I'm thinking. So I've been seeing like lots of designs that have like couches at the end of the bed and I have enough space for it. So I'm kind of thinking I want to put, oh, I just ran into the wall. <clears throat> I kind of want to put that couch at the end of our bed, but I have to see if it'll work and I'm going to do it right now while Steven is out. So I'm going to make the switch really quick. I don't know if I love it, so leave a comment down below, um, but I'm too tired to change it back now. Um, I think Steven's going to hate it when he gets home, but um, we shall see. So I'll show you what the master bedroom looks like with that couch moved in there. With like the gray and white stars and change out those pillows. I'm going to change out the art above the bed. I 
I think it might be okay. We want to get new side tables. I don't know. Maybe I do like it. I don't know. I can't decide. I'm going to live with it for a little bit and then figure out if I like it or not. Okay, so the more I look at it, <clears throat> um, I, I think I like it. We'll see. I didn't love it, so I moved this. I still don't like it. But did you get a bath? Did you get a bath? Ooh, you got a bath today. And you still smell like a skunk a little bit. I got the time wrong for the neighborhood party. I thought it was five o'clock, and it's actually going to be at three, and it's one o'clock right now. So I'm not gonna have time to go run errands right now. So I'm going to relax, and I'm going to show you a book that I have been loving. The Wisdom of Sundays, Life-Changing Insights from Super Soul Conversations by Oprah. And I love Super Soul Sunday, so she's taken some of her favorite conversations and have compiled them into a beautiful book. And what I love is they're divided into some different sections. So you have awakening, intention, mindfulness, spiritual, GPS, ego, forgiveness, broken up, grace and gratitude, fulfillment, love and connection. It's a beautiful book. So this big, uneventful, not exciting vlog is going to be complete so that I can enjoy the night um, over at the neighbors and yeah and I will leave it like I leave all of my videos take care of yourself take care of others and be kind kindness is free give it to everyone and make it a amazing amazing week my friends talk to you soon